Hello, my name is Ben Hewlett and I've been invited to share with you my favourite New College Choir moment. Um, that's a very difficult thing to do. Three years with the choir uh, provides a huge, huge number of memories, uh, almost all of which are exceptional and very, very good memories. Um, I suppose I would concentrate more on the recording sessions and the concerts uh, than I would the even songs that we did. Um, we were working very, very hard uh, outside term time for uh, recordings and concerts, uh, as many generations of New College singers do. Uh, but between uh, 95 and um, uh, 2000 was uh, an especially busy time for the choir, I think. Um, and with uh, lots of the recordings being very commercial, um, there are so many wonderful moments that uh, involve tremendous camaraderie and wonderful atmospheres in concert halls and, and in uh, cathedrals and, and churches on tour. Um, but there's also a huge amount of fun. Um, and uh, one of the things that I um, remember incredibly fondly was being sent out with... Um, Christopher Hughes, uh, as he was then, to um, buy a tambourine for a recording uh, that we were making. This was the uh, the disc, uh, Nativitas, um, and um, it was the height of summer, I think, and we were being sent to buy a tambourine to accompany the, the track Il est né, uh, which of course uh, is a, a French favourite um, in a wonderful arrangement, uh, which provided a huge amount of mirth. And uh, Chris and I went to um, the music shop. I forget its name now. It wasn't Blackwell's. Um, so uh, in any comment section, please, uh, please inform me what it was called. And um, we were sent out with a hundred pounds of petty cash to buy the very, very best tambourine. Um, now, obviously, with that responsibility, we, we took it very, very seriously. So we needed to test drive as many tambourines as we could. Uh, and we were provided with three from which to choose. The uh, the first was obviously a, a little bit budget and the sound wasn't so, so good. The middle one and the top one were, were um, much closer in sound and, and not, not particularly discernible. Um, in the end, we decided that to do this thing properly, we needed to buy the very, very best tambourine. Uh, so we took out our hundred pounds and ready to pay whatever it cost. Um, and uh, I think about 12.95 later, um, we returned to uh, to the recording sessions. So Chris's job as uh, as senior organ scholar was to play the tambourine on this track, uh, a very, very important role. And that that tambourining would uh, would provide everything that the choir needed to uh, to create a fantastic and memorable track. So uh, he started playing, uh, it was just a little bit too loud. So uh, I had to maybe turn around and, uh, and, and play it in a different direction. So uh, he duly did, and it's still a little bit, a little bit tinny. So uh, maybe uh, playing uh, at the back of the chapel with a, a wall of hassocks uh, would, would provide the right acoustic for this, uh, for this fantastic tambourine that we bought. Um, Anyway, so eventually we, we carried on, we got the track done. Um, there was quite a bit of corpsing that time. And uh, uh, needless to say, um, it does not appear on Nativitas. Cutting room floor for Il est né, le divin enfant. Uh, and uh, I, I, I like that story. It, uh, it reminds me of uh, some of the antics that we used to get up to in uh, in recording sessions. Of course, I'm, I'm much, much more professional about everything now. Um, and uh, this just leaves me to choose my favourite track. Uh, and that uh, that's almost an impossible challenge, except that um, uh, the wonderful um, A Spotless Rose by Herbert Howells appears on Nativitas with a fantastic baritone solo sung by the uh, the tenor Philip Cave, um, a man from whom I learnt an, an enormous amount uh, standing next to him. Um, I suppose this could serve as a public apology for having spent three years standing next to him and uh, trying his patience on a daily basis. 
Um, but the solo is is beautifully taken. The choir sing wonderfully. Edward's tempo is is just is excellent. Um, and uh, I would also like to um, give a shout out to former New College clerk Eamon Dugan, who sang the solo at our wedding. When I say our wedding, my that's my wife and my wedding, not Eamon and my wedding. Anyway, um, so a spotless rose. Um, from the disc Nativitas and uh, many, many happy memories of recordings and concerts and even songs, of course, um, at New College. Thank you.